It's here, my Apple credit card. We are about to do an unboxing in case you haven't seen one yet on the internet. I was joking about unboxing my credit card when they first originally announced this and now here I am actually unboxing a credit card. Definitely something that I never thought that I would be unboxing, but here we are, we're doing it. I already signed up on the app and I have used it for one transaction, but this is the actual titanium card. Laser etched name, a beautiful matte white, all metal card. Just what I never knew that I thought that I wanted or needed. <laughs> Would you take a look at that? This looks like a really great gift card. A gift card that you have to pay back. In classic Apple fashion, they've got this little cutout Apple logo, and when you open it up, you are greeted with your beautiful credit card and this wonderful gradient pattern, which actually turns out to mean something. So these gradients actually are categories of things that you're purchasing. So the first thing that I purchased was at a grocery store. So my card is like this color right now in the Apple wallet. In the actual Apple wallet, this is the orange. And that is my one purchase from Air One. Air One is so dangerous. It's kind of like Whole Foods or Target. When you go in there, you think you're gonna buy one thing and then you end up buying the whole freaking store. This is the most exciting thing. Activate your card, wake your iPhone and hold here. You think I'd have a nice downward shot of this, but I don't. So go see somebody else's video because this is not gonna be as great. So let's activate my card. I'm gonna try to screen record this, but I don't know if it's gonna work. <gasps> oh, it has already happened. Do you see that? This works so seamless with iOS. It's basically like you're pairing your AirPods. I don't ever wanna take it out of here. I mean, I guess I can put it back in, but I don't really know what the point is of that. Come on, get out. Be my friend, get in my wallet. This looks really good. There's the credit card. There's my full name. If you didn't know, I have a last name. Shocking, I know. We've got our laser etched name here. You've got your chip reader for chip reader cards and you've got the Apple logo, and then on the back, you have the Goldman Sachs and MasterCard logo, and then you have your little stripe here for sliding. This looks really good. I just feel like it's gonna get a little bit dirty or scratched, especially when you're sliding it through different card readers. There is obviously more of an advantage when you do use the Apple Wallet because you'll get 2% cash back, but if you use this, you'll get 1% cash back, and you will get 3% cash back when you purchase things from the Apple Store, which I definitely do quite frequently. Let's do a drop test. I think it dented my table. Honestly, am I even gonna be able to fly with this? Like this feels like, feels like a weapon. Could be a weapon. Anything could be a weapon, to be honest with you. Weapon. Let's go through the app a little bit more if you guys haven't seen this already. This definitely is something that is for Apple users. If you have an iPhone, this works so perfect with your phone. And what I love about it is because you actually do get the information of where you made your purchase and the app just integrates so well with your phone. My Apple card is ready to use. Get 2% daily cash on every purchase. Cash is added to your Apple cash. One of the reasons that I was a little bit apprehensive of getting this is just because I honestly did not need another credit card. The way that I have things set up right now, it works very seamless with my company and then my personal credit cards. But what I do like about this is I feel like this is something that I'm going to use for myself personally, not as Justine as a business. The cash back aspect is also kind of cool because you actually just get the cash right into your cash wallet. You actually get the cash back the next day. Like it goes right into your Apple cash wallet, which is pretty awesome. A lot of times with a lot of credit cards, you have to submit the points and then you have to redeem them. You can redeem them for cash, but then they give you a better deal if you redeem it for other things like flights or hotels or things like that. I wouldn't by any means say that I am a credit card expert and you should not probably be taking any advice from me on what you should do in your financial future. But I think if this is something that you are going to get, it's something Something that you should keep an eye on and try to pay off every month because that's something that I learned very early on even in college I just kept very high credit card balances I didn't pay any attention to it at all I was late on payments for a lot of different things and that really does affect you down the line when I went to buy my first car and the first time that I had to check my credit score they're like we can't do anything to help you you're just you're a mess 
So for me, what I have done over the past, I feel like 10 or so years, is if I am going to buy something on a credit card, it's something that I know that I can at least afford to pay half of each month. And if I can't, that's okay, things definitely happen. So that's something that is really cool here when you click pay early, this will show you your current balance. And it says my balance is due September 30th. But this will show you what your interest is if you don't decide to pay all of it. So now let's go out to a store. I'm gonna go shop, I'm gonna go buy something. So for my first soup, I'm going to use my new Apple card. Oh, it's already, it already did it. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> for my second soup, I'm going to purchase it on the actual card. Okay, this is my first purchase. That'll show up. Four dollars and four cents for my soup. So I'm gonna actually use it on the phone because you get two percent cash back. But if you just use the credit card, it's only one percent. There it is. It showed up again. There's the rest of my food. Cool. Well, you can see the one percent for that one where I use the actual card. Two percent for this. Oh, this is great. How many soups? Two soups. I would say my favorite thing about this credit card is that there's no credit card numbers on it at all. If you actually want to get your credit card numbers, you have to go into the app, you have to unlock it with Face ID, so you can't really do anything without your face. So even if I lose this credit card, there's no credit card numbers on it, so they can't just take this and start shopping online using my credit card number. I can also go in and put a hold on my credit card in case I did lose it. So everything is very easy and right at your fingertips, which obviously is very classic of Apple. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be so much more Apple fun coming up because the new iPhone is gonna be out soon. I'd imagine they're probably gonna release a new Apple Watch. The Mac Pro is gonna be out. So much stuff is happening and of course, as always, I'll be bringing you guys for the ride. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like like this video and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping.